Hello and uh, welcome back. I have not been making too many videos uh, lately and it will take also a few more weeks. But if you wonder what is going on, I was just a bit busy with my day job and I'm still organizing the, the lab. But meanwhile, I'm still um, buying stuff and selling stuff. And I've got a few nice things because the Fluke Friday also will continue again. I've had a Fluke 45 and a Fluke Data Acquisition Unit. I think it is the 2620. Also, I have multiple different types of the, the Fluke Voltage Testers. And if you are into vintage stuff, I have a Philips power supply up to 3.5 kilo volts, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure if it still works. And I found even an oscilloscope from the former East Germany. And we also need to see if it's still working or not. Meanwhile, uh, I've got a new clamp multimeter from Owen. I think it has Bluetooth. That would be pretty cool to test. Guy which has been very nice to me. I have two of their newer improved multimeters. So these will be coming. And you've seen in my other videos, if you watch those from Kaiwitz, they are also getting into tools. Uh, so I, uh, I showed some wire strippers. Now they also are into solar stations. And I have one here, so that would be pretty cool to see. And uh, they are just getting more and more equipment. And if you watch my uh, community posts, you have seen maybe this is the Rikoldana, the one, uh, the 1992 pretty cool frequency counter up to 1.3 gigahertz. And I think I'm lucky because the, all the buttons still feel good. That's a common problem. We need to test that also. And for the Fluke Friday, I went totally crazy. I told you I sold some stuff and that gave me the opportunity to buy something else. And that is the Fluke Philips 6690 or the Pendulum CTN90. And uh, it has all bar graphs and stuff. This is a proper frequency count and this is pretty, pretty cool. And I think it's from the Marines in the, in the US, it's the USMC. So, pretty cool stuff. Also, I'm getting a little bit back into my old hobby. I also am a ham, so I will also do a little bit more videos, but I will keep rotating. So we have test equipment and ham equipment, um, because I'm starting to be a fan of uh, of Jesu. I was icon in the past and uh, but I found now what well, you've seen on my channel a little, little more and more Jesus. So I will do a little bit more of those also how to upgrade firmware and sometimes I actually know why it's better to upgrade and sometimes you have no clue with Jesu. But uh, so I will do those also. Also, I uh, asked my friends from Ayla Shop if I can borrow some electronic loads. My plan is to have three different brands around the same price to check uh, yeah, what are the differences and what you get for the same amount of money. Uh, because I'm using it more and more when I play with power supplies. I have the Kunkin KP184 uh, and it is. For your money, you get the lot. It's 400 watts, which, which is a lot for an electronic load. But it is just a bit buggy and I did a lot of modifications. So I'm also thinking, what if I started all over again? Would I buy it or would I buy something else? So having those three brands from, from uh, Ailey Shop would be great. So that would be a nice video as well. And of course, we also have the lab tour still coming. And I, uh, I want to do a few last things, and I, I also realize it is never done. The, the lab keeps changing every time. But uh, yeah, of, of course, we can do uh, like a snapshot from what it is now. And uh, so that will be coming also after the holidays. So uh, stick around. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you then.